Hi. Okay, today will be practice number five. And today we're gonna to focus on transition. So some coaches say that transition, you know, in modern soccer is one of the most important uh, thing. And the reason they say is, is that it's nowadays it's, everything is super well organized and when the time is not organized, it's exactly in transition mode. So if players or teams can use this moment, it's really uh, beneficial. So for example, when the team has the ball, they set, their set mind is attacking. So if they suddenly lose the ball, they expose because they were just thinking about attacking. So now if the opponent who wins the ball can quickly attack, counter or advance quickly, uh, the, uh, the team which was just was in possession and lost the ball is in trouble and vice versa. You know, when you're defending and you just won the ball, you still uh, what was thinking about defending. So now it's extremely important to quickly transit to attack, set, to attack and set. You know, not necessarily even attacking and counter and going to the goals, but at least to uh, to uh, position yourself so that you can attack or control the ball. Well, just a second ago you were thinking how on how to defend. Okay, so the key points in this is um, I can read them here. It's a quick switch between possession and pressure. Uh, that's basically the, what is transition is. You know, you either possess and then pr have to press because you lost the ball, or you were pressing or defending and now you have to possess because you just won the ball. And then when in possession, the player needs to think how to make space as big as possible when they won. And then in pressure, they're trying to make the space as small as possible. So when the team just won the ball, we need to provide, we're now moving from defending to possession, like we need to provide support at optimal distance and angle. And then when the team just lost the ball, so we had the ball and we're now in possession uh, where the team uh, got the ball, we need to provide pressure or eliminate passing options for the player who just won the ball on the opposite team. Extremely important and it's mainly about the brain and not about technique, etc. So I build it to switch. So during this practice, players need to pay a lot of attention and be very focused. Okay, so with young players, seven, eight years old, the game is very simple. Uh, first, well, the first they work on their skills, then they work on 1v1, 2v2, 3v3. Again, in this 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, we need to focus again on when we win the ball, can we score quickly? Can we progress quickly? Can we go out away from the pressure? Uh, when we lose the ball, can we defend very quickly? Okay, now the game is big rectangle, with separated within the half line, two player, three teams, yellow, red, and blue. Um, red has a ball, so in this case, uh, yellow are monkeys. Red can connect and then switch the ball here, then yellow try to win the ball here. If yellow win the ball, that's when transition happens. Now yellow becoming with the ball and blue need to provide pressure and prevent this passing and yellow need to try to quickly switch the ball and play to each other and switch the ball here. So again we'll look at this moment of transition, blue providing pressure, blue winning the ball, can red win it back quickly? Or can blue play it quickly out of pressure? Okay, so that's the game. Second game is actually will be right here. Now let's put take away these guys. We're gonna have four or five players in the square, one square, and four or five players in second square. Let's say four players. So there are two squares and this is a blue hole, this is a red hole. Uh, when the ball is in the blue hole square, two reds going to go and press. And let's say we have five players for simplicity and five here. So still two reds going. And they're trying to win the ball. And if they win, they need quickly to play the ball here. Blue trying to prevent the winning back and keep the ball here. 
Eva Ball moves to the red home square. These two reds join the square and then two blues provide pressure, trying to win the ball. If they win, again, red trying to block and win the ball back and keep it here, or red or blue trying to play and then join and press. So again, in possession we're kind of resting and keep the ball away against two monkeys, for example. Uh, all right. When we lose the ball, we pressure quickly get the ball back and then again. All right. Is that clear? So that's all young players need to um, uh, know and what we want to focus on. 5v5 or 4v4, something like this, we have a pressure. Okay? Um, we can do even, even 3v3, uh, one pressure, etc. So it's um, all adjustable. Okay, now the second group and third group, so the all, all older kids, are going to do the same practice. And this will be the activity, exactly the same activity which I just described this 5v5 or 4v4 um, with uh, two pressuring. Uh, it's going to be second activity after 1v1, 2v2, 3v3. That's the activity. Third activity is going to be a little bit different. And I draw it here. And there are three teams of four players. And one team I just showed here green, just because I don't have a third color. Yes, three, but uh, let's, for example, just use. So now we have two squares separated by channel. And when blue have a ball, two green or yellow in this case providing pressure. And two green from the, it's the same team. Let's just keep it as green right now. So we don't get confused. So we're trying to provide pressure and with the ball two uh, green trying to prevent this pass. So the job of blue players move the ball and then play it here. These two green cannot attack the ball but can prevent the pass. So if they intercept or if they win the ball here, let's say green won the ball here, they need to play the ball quickly to red. I will through his home, but all just directly to red. Now blue, two blue in a square, two blue providing pressure, all four green now here. Again, the transition moment. Now blue is trying to win the ball, red is moving. If they move here the ball, then these two pressuring, these two in a channel. If blue win the ball, they need to transfer the ball here, and then they move here, green, get in there. Okay? Very simple. The third exercise is uh, actually also our fourth exercise, I should say, if we take the warm up. Um, Again, in warm-up, look for transition moments, right? Then all this is focused exactly on this point. So I'm going to erase this part a little bit. We're actually going to use a circle, and there are going to be two goals, like this. And three teams, again, of, let's say, four players, five players, it doesn't matter. Um, and there are going to be neutrals. I'm going to put them green right now again. Let's say it's four. Two goals back to back to each other. So I will actually draw them something like this. This is goal facing this way, and back to back goal facing this way. And then there are four blue players. If it's four, something like this. You know, you can always vary number of neutrals, etc. And four red players. So red playing against blue. The objective is to score the goal on the goals. You know, it can be calls, can go either way, this goal or this goal. Um, you can use neutrals. If you win the ball, you, the only requirement you have is to connect one pass, either this way or this way, and then score. Or neutral cannot score, so a neutral has to find it again, score. So one pass needs to be connected. You can't just win the ball here from blue and score. No, you have to play the ball him and he can score red or you can play neutral and then you should play red and we're attacking again the game is the same quick transition between the possession and defending so we for example blue has a ball they think to score now they lose the ball they need to quickly 
block for goals, here block for goals. Red can connect one pass and score, blue trying to pre preserve it. All right, they need to block a goal and then provide pressure. Okay, so again the square, the square, the circle, neutral outside to support, all the rest of the players uh, inside, one pass before you can score to any player either neutral or your teammate. Quick transition, prevent the goal option, that's the first priority. Second, provide the pressure. Third, probably provide, well, take the away the options, immediate options to score. Okay, so that's it. Uh, have fun. This is again about your set of mind. What we want to do not have is when, let's say, red, um, let's have it this way. What we don't have here, we want to pick, we pick, blue is trying to score right now, and then red wins the ball. And this, of course, this player, since he lost the ball, he's going to provide pressure. But everybody else will going to just stay. And then this pass and a goal. So everybody right away need to, you know, uh, coordinate and move very quickly to prevent the goal. Very important. And vice versa, you know, uh, Blue were trying to score, you know, red were defending, like this. Now red won the ball, play this ball and score quickly. Transition quickly to the goal. This is already good enough. You can't score yourself, this number nine player cannot score himself, but he can play to 10 and he's will score. That's it. One pass is enough. Okay? All right? Have fun.